Yaskawa range of robot models with Motoman GP7 and GP8, Close has revised Kirox compact cells, TWI offers webinars, Technical Bulletin DVS EFB 34352 available in English, Stefan Egerland, appointed chairman of IIW's TNB, Aluminium Brazing Congress 2018. Welcome to DVS TV International News. Yaskawa is expanding its range of Motoman industrial robots to include the new GP series. The two GP7 and GP8 robots with payloads of 7 and 8 kg respectively are the fastest in their class. They are also executed completely in protective class IP67. Robots in the GP series are controlled by the Motoman YRC1000 control unit, which is also new. The new drive technology reduces the time required for the confirmation process with the aid of minimized movement changes at different speeds. The programming device of the YRC1000 control unit features improved cable routing. At only 730 gram, it is the lightest programming device in its category and can confirm a robot's position and status via the 3D robot model display. The touchscreen enables intuitive operation for simple movement and scrolling with the cursor. In addition, open interfaces predestined the new control unit generation for use in Industry 4.0 environments. Last but not least, the new GP models incorporate the fast and highly dynamic motors in Yaskawa's Sigma 7 series. The Kirox compact cells from Karl Kloß Schweißtechnik are perfectly suitable for the automated welding of small and medium components. From the sensors to the controller, each compact cell is a tailor-made unit. Recently, Kloß completely revised the extensive series of compact cells and gave them numerous new features. The ready-to-weld systems are characterized by a new design and the highest quality standard. They are equipped with a new Kirox QRH280 welding robot, which was developed for the closed compact cell solutions. The compact robot is fast and dynamic, which reduces the production time significantly. The integration of the cables in the base frame and the position of the welding power source and the Kirox controller outside the housing makes the servicing and maintenance of the new cells much easier. The Kirox compact cells stand for maximum production flexibility as the modular design makes it possible to add individual enhancements and upgrades at any time. Last October, the Welding Institute hosted a special Ask the Expert webinar on ISO and ASME welding qualifications. Attendees were invited to provide questions ahead of and during the event, which was handled by Marcelo Consoni. Consani is a TWI consultant, welding engineer and a member of national and international committees on welding qualifications. The popular webinar provided information on how welding qualifications are normally carried out according to national and international standards. The free to join event was a great success, attended by professionals from companies all around the world who represented numerous industry sectors. There are already plans for more Ask the Expert webinars on welding qualifications, with the next one set to be held on the 24th of January 2018, where Marcelo will once again be available to offer advice and to answer your questions. You can find out more and register for the next webinar on the TWI Global website, where you can also find a collection of previously recorded webinars. The technical bulletin DVS EFB 34352 Lock Bolt Systems Calculations of Connections According to Eurocode 3 and VDI 2230 Part 1 is now available in English. It deals with the calculation of lock bolt connections under static and alternating stress. The rules pertain to connections with individual sheet thicknesses greater than or equal to 3 mm. 
The calculation method applied in the technical bulletin relates to the connection with a single lock bolt. The provisions of the technical bulletin apply to connections which are subjected to shear and tensile loading and use lock bolts made of steel in strength classes 5.8, 8.8 and 10.9 according to DIN EN ISO 898-1 and to the corresponding colors. This technical bulletin also covers lock bolts and associated colors made of austenitic steel or aluminium. The bulletin was created in collaboration between the European Research Association for Sheet Metal Working and the German Welding Society. Stefan Egerland, Global Key Account Manager at Fronius International, was named as the new chairman of the Technical Management Board at the Annual Assembly of the International Institute of Welding in June. As a chairman, Egerland is also a member of the Board of Directors, the IIW's highest committee. Over the next three years, he will lead the Institute's technical operations. The IIW is the world's largest welding technology organization and was founded in 1948 by 13 national welding organizations. Today, it has members from 59 different nations. The International Aluminium Brazing Congress, organized by the German Welding Society, DVS, will take place from the 12th to the 14th of June 2018. Leading specialists and authorities from the sector, well-known experts from industry and research and other important decision makers from this field will gather in Düsseldorf, Germany. The Congress is designed to promote surface technology by means of presentations, comments and technical discussions. The event will also provide numerous opportunities to expand networks. An exhibition of participating companies running concurrently to the Congress will help the attendees to get further contacts. The call for papers deadline has been extended until the 5th of January 2018. All experts and interested people are invited to hand in their contributions. The Congress language will be English. The subject areas and a link to the online submission platform can be found on the website below. Thank you for watching. Take care until next time. Bye bye.